I'm Max Stowick and I run an $80,000 a month info agency. And this is gonna be a pretty chilled video. I'm just gonna to explain to you the most recent client I landed for my info agency and how we generated just under $18,000 worth of profit for myself and $80,000 worth of profit for my client as well in about three weeks. So firstly, I know you probably don't know what an info agency is, that's okay. There are a bunch of different terms out there for this business model. You might have heard of growth operating before. You might have heard of IPGA, info product growth agency. An info agency, these, these are all the same fucking things. They're just marketing spins that everyone wants to put their own implant on the, on the industry. So we all come up with our own names, but they're all the same thing. You find a creator or an influencer who's making content and you help them sell info products to make more money. Yes, growth operating focuses more on paid communities, but that's still an info product. And yes, IPGA focuses more on running paid ads, but you're still just selling an info product for a creator. So it is basically the exact same business model. An info agency, is a business, an agency, where you help influencers or creators sell info products and you get a percentage of what you sell for them. That's how the business works. Now, I've been doing this for about three years now, ever since I left university and came out into the real world and realized that, wow, my life is actually pretty shit. I had this depressing minimum wage warehouse job and um, I realized my degree wasn't worth anything and I couldn't get a real job. I applied to over 100 estate agencies and couldn't even get a single inf uh, interview until I had two friends who worked at estate agents give me interviews and even then I failed at getting a job. So I was in a dark place and I found an info agency and it's really just changed my life altogether. From that, you know, broke depressed place to making over $80,000 a month now. Now, three weeks ago, I signed a brand new client for my info agency and we've already made $18,000 or just under that in profit for myself and the same for the client as well. So I thought I'd explain exactly how we did that in three weeks and talk you through how an info agency works and how you can get started and how you can generate those sort of numbers for yourself as well. I'm gonna go in depth. I'm gonna explain everything I did and show you how you can do the exact same thing as well. So listen in. Now, the first step of running an info agency is the same no matter who you are. It's landing that client. And how do you do that? Well, you network or you send DMs on Instagram. It's simple, I know it seems too basic to work, but it really does work. You want to be personal, you want to be honest and authentic, but you are just trying to get in front of a creator or an influencer, find one who has great content, but they're not monetizing effectively and show them how you could improve that for them, how you can help them make more money and prove to them that they will make more money working with you than without you. That's the equation you've got to get going on in their head. Of course, it isn't just sending DMs. You want to send a DM, you want to drive a little bit of intrigue with them. And eventually you wanna get them onto a Zoom call, a sales call, where you get a further chance to explain what you're gonna to do, to explain why this is such a no brainer and to nail down the nitty gritty things of you know, how much setup fee are you gonna charge? How much of the profit share or revenue share are you gonna generate? Nail down those details, get everything agreed and then get to work. Now, in general, setup fees are great. They ensure commitment by both parties. If one side is paid, he has to carry out acts. Otherwise, that's just fraud. If one side has done the pay-in as well, they're then committed to make sure that the person they've paid is able to do their job. Now, what's the point in paying a deposit to sign up with an info agency if you're just gonna air them afterwards? So, setup fees are brilliant. Once you've got that client landed, your next task is essentially building the offer building the info product and getting ready to sell it. Now, as I said, an info product can be uh, you know, a course, it can be a community, it can be an ebook, it can be a Microsoft Excel template, it can be a printout for a print-on-demand guru or something. It can be really anything as long as it's digitally fulfillable. So no physical products, that's the one rule. You have to be able to just send it through the fucking airwaves to people over email or something. Now, the best way to build the right product for you is to take a look at what this creator is in, what niche they're in, and just put yourself into the shoes of their customer and their audience. What do they need and what do they want? Because most often, that's going to be the thing you want to sell. Another great way to run this is to sort of trust that the experienced people in their niche have already done this. And so you find the best performers. Say you've signed a fitness client and you want to know, okay, what is the best possible info product we could sell? Well, you could try and do loads of market research on your own audience, or you could just find out who else your audience follows and say it's Mike Thurston, brilliant. 
Go look at Mike Thurston. What is he doing? What is he selling? It's a very high likelihood that Mike Thurston knows what the fuck he's doing. So you're probably going to be in good stead funnel hacking your best performing competitors. Um, you don't just want to copy products though. You want to take the best part of your competitors' products, the best aspects, which makes them really, really effective. You want to ignore the worst parts and get rid of them. And then you want to uh, add on top your creator's own spin. You want to be personal. One of the great things about info products is the ability to put a personal touch on what is otherwise a replicable product. And that makes it difficult for other people to compete with you, right? Hamza, the self-improvement guy, for instance, has 1,400 people paying $130 a month for his paid community. Now that paid community isn't special. It, it, it's just like every other paid community about self-improvement out there. But Hamza's personal touch on it means that it makes him 180 grand a month Whereas the you know, random guy with no following and no personality makes one and he doesn't even get to $100 a month and that's because they don't have that personality attached to them. Now, you're going to put everything together. You're going to ignore the worst parts of your competitors and, and grab the best parts and you're going to put it all together into one info product to start with. A paid community is a great place to start. Eddie Cumberbatch preaches this over and over again. It's really, really easy to drive recurring monthly revenue. Courses are also brilliant. A lot of people say that they're too saturated or too dead or it's a dirty word, and of course it's a dirty word, but you can still make a fuckload of money selling courses. Um, if it is a community, then you know, sign up with school, create a school group, and start filling it up with content. If it's a course you're gonna build, you know, maybe use ChatGPT and a little bit of AI to get you started, to show you what direction to go, and then start fleshing it out with more human elements that your creator can actually put their personal touch on. Get the creator to commit some kind of content to this project as well. If it's a community, then group coaching calls would be brilliant, wouldn't they? Again, it's actually much more important than people realize to make the product solid. Most people come into this and they say, well, I bought a course once and it was shit, so I don't need to make mine good. That is the worst attitude to have with running an info agency. You want to strive for excellence. You want to make sure your, your product is as good as possible. Otherwise, there's no longevity in it. And you do all that work to build it up to have a good launch and then the sales just drop off a cliff. Not exactly what you want to see. Stack the value for your first offer. Price it lower than you would ideally want it to be and trust that if it's a good product and you have priced it competitively, you'll be able to raise those prices over time and slowly drive higher lifetime customer values. That's the important thing here. Now, once you've got that product created, it's all about building out a funnel. Now, what is a funnel? A funnel is a shape where you start large at the top and you get smaller and smaller and smaller. And in a marketing sense, a funnel is how you direct people from the first time they see you or your product to finally buying the product. And at each stage of the funnel, you lose a certain amount of people, but you nurture them a little bit more and you get them a little bit closer to buying. You're going to build a funnel. Now for this client I just signed, we built a very complex funnel, which is an entire video for its own, you know, over the coming weeks, but I can't really, I don't have the time to explain it in this video here. The one you should start with is really, really simple. An email newsletter that you get people to sign up with, that you give free, informative, and educational, and, uh, you know, entertainment-based content to people on. Then you're gonna send a few of those emails out a week, and you're gonna have soft plugs, not hard sales, you're gonna have soft sales for this community. You're gonna drive them to click that link and to check the community out, and then when you get there, you're gonna to go to a school landing page. It's gonna be really, really simple. There's gonna be a VSL, a video sales letter right there, which is the creator talking at the camera, telling people why they should buy this product, why the paid community is worth it, and what you get in it. And then there's gonna be a bunch of text down there that you're gonna fill out with just you know the details of what they get. And again, what its value is and the price that they're gonna pay. Really, really simple funnel that is effective and will drive sales and conversions as well. Now. The big advantage of this is the creator you're working with has already built trust with this audience. They've been building trust with this audience for years, making videos on TikTok or Instagram or YouTube or wherever, and you're the one who gets to capitalize on it. So it's a brilliant model for that sense. It's simple, and it sounds a little bit too simple, too good to be true. I know, I, I thought the same thing myself, honestly. But I'm gonna go over my results here, and I'll interlay some you know, screen recordings of the, uh, the, the platform we use so I can show you exactly how well we did. Now we launched two offers um, and sold them at the same time with this new client. Again, because we're a little bit more advanced, we know what we're doing. So we had a high ticket coaching offer and a lower ticket community offer and we launched them simultaneously. Now here are the offers from the lower ticket community 
after week one. $13,900. Everything will be in US dollars, by the way. Week two, 6,800 US dollars. Week three, 4,800 US dollars. That adds up to 25,500 US dollars. From our higher ticket, more coaching based offer, we sold 5,800 US dollars in cash collected with a payment plan of $6,000 in cash contracted to come in over the coming two months, which is a total of 11,800 US dollars. Combined revenue then for this product within the first three weeks of launching was 37,300 US dollars. Now our costs were rather minimal. We had about $200 in softwares and about $1,500, $1,500 in payment and platform fees, which leaves us with a profit of roughly $35,600 US dollars. Now for this particular deal, I have a 50% profit share agreement with this creator, which means both of us, myself and the creator I'm working with, made $17,800 US dollars in profit in just three weeks of working together. Now, honestly, of, of course I'm biased. Of course I'm going to sit here and say an info agency is the best business model to start because three years ago I was a fucking bum and I just made almost $18,000 over three weeks of working like two or three hours a day. So of course I'm going to be biased and I do understand why people might be a little bit skeptical here and that. But I do want you to know that this business model did change my life and it can change your life as well. Uh, this one client, this, this brand new client over just three weeks of work, 18,000 US dollars. If you come from the typical world, from the corporate world, if you're a UK graduate and you're working in a city like London, like where I am, first of all, you can't afford an apartment like this, but even if you could, do you know what your, your graduate salary is likely to be? About 30,000 pounds a year for like a real job in a real corporate office for an accounting firm or some marketing department or something. And I've done 18,000 US dollars in three weeks. It's pitiful, but this is the reality of the world as we see it today. Those who take risk and build a business are the ones who reap the rewards. And those who decide to go the safe route and to stick with a job, they get shafted. Now this particular funnel that we've built is going to continue to work and function on a cyclical weekly basis for likely three or four months before we need to make any major changes to it. And then we'll rejig the branding, we'll change the offer around, we'll optimize some things, we may add in or remove some steps. But really, this has been maybe 30 to 40 hours worth of work for $18,000 in profit so far. And that's likely going to continue well on into the future. And I have personal aspirations to scale this individual launch and this individual client's products up to $30,000 a month in profit for themselves and myself, recurring, continuing, going forward. Obviously, I'm biased. I know it. I know that not everyone else is going to think the same of info agencies, but it is a new business model that hasn't been grossly saturated, that there aren't a million, you know, 15 year olds out there watching a Hustlers University course and sending identical cold outreach of. If you are interested, if you've tried things like SMMA, like remote closing, like um, trading, drop shipping, e-com, print on demand, whatever the fuck else, and it hasn't worked for you, give info agency a chance. It changed my life, it can change your life too. I've got videos all over my channel explaining what an info agency is and, and telling you how to do it. I've got videos breaking down funnels from previous people like Cardinal Mason, um, like Sneeko is another one who we did. Uh, other guys too. Check out the videos, check out the channel, and check out this video here if you want to learn a little bit more about info agencies. So until next time, stay stoic.